And welcome to the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena for Arena Lacrosse League action here on a beautiful Sunday afternoon between the St. Catharines Shockwave and the Six Nations Snipers. Daryl Smart along with JVI bringing you the action here as the Snipers win the opening draw. Snipers wearing their white, orange, and black trim going left to right on your screen. They have the ball first as they center the ball around. Tied up along the boards, that's number 12. David Prince all tied up as referees are yelling at the players to get the ball moving. There's Price, there's the shot. That one stopped. By Chase Martin, the starting goaltender for the Shockwave this evening. Shockwave up with the ball, their first possession of the game. That's 12, that's Anthony Pedersen. He tries to center the ball, that goes wide. Still with the ball, there's a quick shot. Fanned. As the uh, players battle for the ball along the corner and all along. That's 14, Brian Neufeld with it. He gets it, there's the shot! And a save by Jake Lazor. Lazor getting the call tonight. The numbers are wrong. And that's, there's a shot to save. That's Dylan Sprints between the pipes for the snipers tonight as the roster's got a little jingled up and the uh, jerseys switched around before the game. Snipers with the ball. Moving the ball around here. 97, that's Danton Miller with it. Miller takes a shot from a defender as he goes across the floor. There's a bounce pass intercepted by the shockwave as they press to the floor. 10, Mitch Dumont. He spins around, passes it off as he goes to the bench in favor of an extra attacker here. There's a shot, that one wide. Shot by Isaac Vanderzam. As the shot, or as the snipers now in transition, that's 77. Henry Chapman with it. He drops it back. 91, Sid Pallas with it. Pallas on the right side looking to make something happen. There's a shot. That one just wide of Martin. As Martin goes behind the net to scoop it up. And Martin with that shiny helmet of his showing a little bling this afternoon. As the shockwave get possession, there's a cross floor pass. That one intended for Neufeld. Shockwave move the ball around. Pedersen, there's a shot wide. Centering pass again. Defender ties things up. As the sniper is now in transition here, that's 96. Alec Tomas. Dumps off the ball for Danton Miller. Miller taking a few whacks from the shockwave as he throws the ball across and gets it again. Miller on the right side. Miller looks to dump off out to Palace. Palace, there's a shot! And a nice save off the stick of Jordan Goddard as Chase Martin with the save. Shockwave, move the ball around here as they look for the wholesale change. 23, Cody Menzies, he has the ball. There's a shot from up top. That one from Lane Smith. And stop by Dylan Sprints. Whistle blown down on the play. So we've got a stoppage here. 11-13 remain here in the first period who are four and five on the season in fourth place in the standings. Wearing their gold, going right to left on your screen as they move the ball around. Loose ball picked up by the Snipers. Snipers all alone, that's 96. Shot to goal! Alec Tomas! To beat Chase Martin to give the Six Nation Snipers a one to nothing lead here with 10.49 remaining here in the first period. And again, the Six Nation Snipers 
had a dreadful start to the season going 0-6. And, and they've won their last three in a row. And there's a shot and a save by Martin. The Snipers had a dreadful start to this arena lacrosse se league season with six straight losses. But the last three games, the Snipers have found some gel as they've won three straight games looking for a fourth in a row tonight here at the ILA. 10.35 remaining. There's a shot saved by Martin. Snipers recover, move the ball around. Denton Miller with it. Miller up top, looking to make something happen. Heads into the middle, goes across the floor. There's the pass. Another pass. Miller, focal point here for the Snipers. Martin with the save and the shockwave here in transition. Brooker Muir with it. Brooker Muir, tons of strength on that one, shoots. As Spence squeezes the apple in a beautiful save. Off the stick of Brooker Muir. Muir muscled his way down into the Goal mouth there is Mil Chase Martin goes long distance, plays catch with Sprints as he dumps it off to his teammates. 9.30 remain here in the first period. Six Nations snipers won. St. Catherine's shockwave, nothing here. And a tight checking game. There's a centering pass, knocked down. Loose ball picked up by Davis Prince. Behind the pack pass, shot. Pass the shot, and a beautiful save by Martin. Off the stick of Jordan Goddard. Goddard all alone, and Chase Martin with a beautiful save. Lane Smith muscles it away. Either pass, there's a shot. That one goes wide. That one off the stick of Cody Menzies. As Lane Smith with it again, he's got two guys draped all over him as the shot clock expires, and he dumps it down. Penalty coming to an end here. Four seconds remain in the shockwave penalty. Dent Miller up top here. We're back to five on five action. Snipers moving the ball around here. There's a centering pass. That one intended for Prince. He couldn't get a handle on it as the shockwave Recover and go into transition here. Duncan Cart, he dumps it off. To print, or sorry, to Pedersen. Pedersen, one-on-one -on -one matchup. Curls, shoots, save by Sprints. Shockwave now, bring it up. A little bit of a wholesale change as Henry Chapman saunters up the floor down the right side. Snipers trying to move the ball around. Loose ball picked up. That one by Chapman. Chapman dives in and just goes wide. What an attempt by Chapman. As Chapman goes Superman. But he just couldn't find the net on that one. A beautiful attempt as he found the Weak side there on, and headed towards the goal mouth and goes flat out as he tried to beat Chase Martin on that one as we go to a TV timeout here with 7.28 remaining in the first period. Draw, one by the Snipers, Mike Atwood. Atwood curls around. Atwood known as a great drawman. 
dumps it back off to Sid Palace. Out to Whitlow, West Whitlow trying to make something happen. Back, pass, shot, a goal! The Six Nation snipers are rolling here as Davis Prince makes it three to nothing. Nice little passing play, Sid Palace. Draw, there's a battle. Snipers end up with the loose ball. Off the draw. That was Ty Argent with the, with the goal. That's Argent's 12th goal of the season. Again, a little bit of a switching around with the jerseys tonight as Ty Argent put that one in. There's a shot and a goal. And boy, oh boy, the snipers are rolling. That's number 42. Croy Arnold with that one. Like we said a little bit earlier, the snipers off to a dreadful, dreadful start here in the Arena Lacrosse League. Going 0-6, didn't think anything was going right. And of course, winning the last three games. And tonight, or this afternoon, sorry, they are absolutely rolling. They have found the jam as they're looking for more as that's Ethan Riggs heading up here. Riggs up top to Kyle Isaacs. Isaacs on the right side as he's looking around to make something happen. Someone trying to make a cut here as the snipers try to go cross four. That's 92, Jordan Goddard. Goddard in the corner evades a Shockway defender as he tries to center it and get it intercepted. As Tyler O'Brien dumps it off to Vanderzom. Pass intended for Vanderzom. Grabs the loose ball as he spins off a pair of defenders. Still battling for the ball. He still has it. But he touches the right hand into the crease area. As the whistle blows with the crease infraction. 440 remain here in the fourth or in the first period here. Six Nation snipers wearing white and orange. Lead 4-0 over the St. Catharines Shockwave wearing their gold and black jerseys this evening. West Whitlow spins around. There's a shot. And that one's underneath Chase Martin. As the whistle blows and Martin freezes things and the shockwave slow things down. Probably a good idea right now to try and grab a little bit of momentum here is. That pendulum is all the sniper's way right now. 44, Brent Longbow, he's got it. As the snipers go around the horn here. Back to Longbow. Out to Miller, Miller's shot scores! Dan Miller with the shot and a goal. And boy, oh boy, the snipers grab themselves a five to nothing lead with 4-10 remaining here in the first period. Heading into this one, he had seven, or sorry, it's his seventh goal of the season. He had six goals, six assists heading into this one this afternoon as he scores his seventh of the Arena Lacrosse League season so far. Just under four to go here, first period. Snipers looking for more. They've opened up a five nothing lead. There's a shot from up top. Jamie Downey with the whip. Handled easily by Martin, who's looking to get some momentum of his own here as the snipers have feasted on him in this Sunday afternoon game. Here at the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena, there's a shot. That one off the shoulder of Sprentz. Off the stick of Cody Menzies. Vern Hill sauntering up the right side, looking for some support here. Hill fakes, passes up top. 
Snipers moving the ball around the horn here. Downey with it. Downey with that whip. Ends up passing. There's a shot. Another pass attempt, sorry. This is Vern Hill. Fool this. Oh, there's another wraparound attempt. This time by Downey. As Downey goes up and over and into the shoulder of Chase Martin. 2.30 remains here in that first period as the shock wave. Fourth place right now in the Arena Lacrosse League. And of course, the Snipers, three and six. Is there in sixth place so far? Snipers with a break, rebound, picked up. There's a scoop shot attempt by Justin Martin. Martin picks up the loose ball as the Snipers regain possession here. Taking some time, two minutes to go here. There's a shot from up top. That one by McLaughlin is, that one's easily handled by the leg pads of Chase Martin. Shockwave. Trying to get into the offensive zone. Sniper's not really giving them anything here. Playing some tight defense. There's a shot attempt. That one off the stick. And it looked like Marty Hill. Or sorry, Seamus Shanahan. Ty Argent with the ball. He scored one tonight so far. As Alec Tomas, he's got a pair, dumps it back. Down to Goddard. Goddard. Easily handled by Martin. Boy, oh boy, do I like Martin's helmet. That thing just shines here tonight. Shockwave. That's Pedersen. Pedersen looking to make a run. Had to curl, but he gets his foot down into the crease area. There's a violation. An easy turnover in favor of the snipers. There's a centering pass. That one intended for Downey off the stick of... Miller, but that one doesn't go in, but the snipers still regain possession of the ball. 43 to go here in the first period. There's a shot, now one off the mush as Ty Argent gets Chase Martin off the top of the head and the carom in favor of the St. Catharines shockwave. 28 seconds remain here, first period, five nothing, snipers lead. Shockwave going right to left here, trying to Get that last shot, 20 to go here. Nine seconds on the shot clock. There's a shot from up top. That one goes wide. Shot clock still on. That one's still wide as the shot clock expires. Opportunity missed by the shock wave of, as they tried to have a shooting gallery but couldn't get anything on the net. And welcome back, lacrosse friends, to the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena for Arena Lacrosse League action. We're in that first period. It was all Six Nations snipers going to town as they lead the St. Catharines Shockwave five to nothing here on a beautiful Sunday afternoon at the ILA. And of course, the snipers looking to get back into the thick of things here in the Arena Lacrosse League. As the shockwave move things around, there's a shot and a save by Sprentz. Sprentz looking for his first win of the season between the pipes for the snipers. He's 0-2 so far. There's a shot and a save by Martin. Sprentz, before the this one started, he's 0-2 with a 13-2-1 goals against average. So he's looking for that all-important first victory of the season between the pipes. 
as the shockwave moved the ball around here. Gingerly on the power play. There's a shot. And again, St. Catharines with the man advantage. Danton Miller with that late penalty. As there's 40 seconds remain in that penalty. And here's the snipers on the fast break. Justin Martin with it, spins, moves, shot. That one just goes wide as he tries to go up top and over the shoulder of Chase Martin, but bounces down and goes way over the net. 22 seconds remain in this penalty. Snipers moving the ball around. There's Vern Hill with it. Hill, he's playing catch with Sid Palace. Palace goes across the floor. There's a shot from Whitlow as Whitlow turned aside easily by Chase Martin. Danton Miller just about to step onto the floor and we're back to five on five action here. 13 minutes remain in the second period here. As the shockwave looking to get a little bit of momentum here. There's a shot stopped by Sprints. Shot clock renews. There's a spin, there's Shanahan. He tries to go up the middle but stuffed by the defensive prowess of Duncan Cart. More great defense from the snipers as Vern Hill grabs the loose ball and just takes a whack at it, dumps it down to the other end of the floor. As we've got ourselves another penalty, a holding penalty, again to the snipers, that's number 16, Duncan Cart, who made that great defensive play a couple of seconds ago. Got caught up with the St. Catharines offensive player and the shockwave going back to work here with the man advantage here. 12.25 remain, there's a shot! As Sprints squeezes the apple again, this one in the armpit. As Sprints makes a nice save, had the angle calmly covered. As he turns aside the St. Catharines shockwave here. Snipers killing off the penalty, 12 to go here, second period. Martin darts down to the right side, picks up the loose ball. Martin gets a helmet full of shaft, a stick shaft to the face. Nothing called on that one. A friendly love tap by the shockwave as things are blown down in favor of the snipers who have possession of the ball. And we've got ourselves a, a penalty. That's number 43, Kyler Kilgore. And Kilgore, he was the one that took the stick to Martin. There's a shot. That one goes off the defender. That, that one hurt right off the back of the leg. of Blake Dunford. Dunford took that as he has the ball in transition. Dunford pumps, passes. Quick shot, that one just goes wide as Duncan Cart tries to skip it by Sprints but couldn't. Oh, how's she going by? T Patterson with a little how's she going down to the other end but couldn't cash as Kyle Isaacs takes a beating down into the offensive end as they still hold possession of the ball. Snipers killing this one off. 18 seconds to go in the Snipers penalty. Big whip shot, that one off the stick of Downey. Downey's had a couple of those from downtown as he's whipped that stick. Placed the ball into the chest of Chase Martin. A nice stop by Sprints who's very confident tonight. The Snipers here in transition off the penalty. There's a shot and a save, oh, he scores! Oh! Duncan Kirk coming out of the penalty box, streaks down, looked like he scored. Went in, but officials blow that one down as Kurtz, oh, there's a skip by Lane Smith who attempted to Hop, skip, and jump by Sprints. 
That one looked to be in, but Kurt's foot in the crease. And of course, no goal on that when that happens. Just under 10 minutes to go here as the shockwave penalty is about to expire. Scramble in front of Chase Martin as he's trying to catch the hot potato that is recovered by Brent Longboat. Longboat recovers that loose ball as Chase Martin with a big smile on his face. You can see it from way up here. No one could get that one but Longboat. Snipers holding on to the ball. We're back to five on five action. There's a behind the back shot from Whitlow, but doesn't fool his buddy Chase Martin. Brooker Muir with it. He's up top, plays catch with Newfeld. Newfeld dumps it down. Pass intended for Seamus Shanahan, but couldn't get a handle on it as Shanahan, with a nice defensive play, knocks the ball loose from Mike Atwood. Atwood now with it. He goes long distance. He sees Miller, who had the shot on the one time and the quick stick, but stepped into the crease before he got the shot off. Nice little heads up play from the snipers as a streaking Denton Miller tries to get the shot off but couldn't make it count here. 8.30 remaining here. Daryl Smart along with JVI Sports bringing you all the arena lacrosse action tonight. Thanks for joining us here online. Arena Lacrosse League action thanks to JVI Sports. Eight and a half to go here. Sniper still holding a 5 nothing lead. There's a dump pass down in the little. As Alec Tomas, who's got a pair already, tried to the Hattie, but couldn't as he dove in and attracted some attention from the shockwave defense. Tomas leading the attack so far. He's got a pair. Ty Argent's got one. Troy Anthony with one and Denton Miller with one. As the snipers set up shop here. Whitlow playing catch with his teammates here. Dumps it behind his back. A nice little pass. Longboat with it. Longboat up top. He sees Miller. Miller tries to get the pass off, but that one's intercepted by Kyler Kilgore, and in turn, the snipers intercept. Now there's a quick shit stick shot opportunity. Off the stick of Goddard, but a sliding. Chase Martin picks it up. 7.40 remains here, second period. Snipers gingerly making their way up into the offensive end as they work the ball around the horn. Whitlow. Back to long boat. Snipers playing catch. There's a quick stick opportunity again by Goddard. A nice pass by Isaacs across the crease. Snipers pick it up again. Isaacs with the shot. That one easily handled by Martin, smothered up and passed along to his teammates as the shockwave get a handle on the ball with seven minutes to go here in the second period. Brooker Muir patiently waiting for something to happen here, looking for one of his teammates to cut as he's got one hand on his stick. There's a one-handed attempt, tries to pick up the rebound. There's another save by Sprints. Sprints with a couple of stops. One off the rebound, and the Shockwave still have possession. Brooker Muir, he tries to center it. Pass intended for Newfell. Newfell couldn't Get a handle on it as it goes all the way down for Vern Hill. Hill, there's the pass to Palace. As Palace's shot turned aside by Martin. And it's the Shockwave's turn, and there's an interception. Alec Tomas, there's a shot from Downey as he goes behind his back and over his shoulder, but couldn't get it past the Shockwave goaltender and Chase Martin. Sixth 
for the St. Catharines Shockwave. There's a rebound, and that one's covered up by Sprints. What a save. Sprints with a pair of saves and gets that five hole covered up with a big stick of his. And Sprints playing fantastic so far as the Snipers with a fast break of their own. Mike shot, saved by Martin as the two goaltenders playing perfect so far in this second period. Nothing by either goaltender. Errant pass by St. Catharines, easily handled by Sprints. There's Cart. Cart finds Downey, Downey holds up here as he's waiting for the rest of his teammates to catch up with him. Downey, Whitlow tries to sprint a little, attracts some attention, goes one on one, tries to dump it in, there's a pass and a shot. And off the stick of Argent, as Argent goes up top, flies through the air and a nice save by Martin. Chase Martin's really settled in here after giving up those goals. And the St. Catherine Shockwave really tightening up the defense compared to that first period where the snipers were all over them. Loose ball picked up by Martin as we've got ourselves a little dust up in the crease area. That's Ty Argent mixing it up with a couple of shockwave defenders and looks like we've got ourselves some penalties here. After the TV timeout here, Four and a half minutes to go here in the second period. And the referees sorted things out here with the penalties. Looks like the shockwave are going to be down one man, a double minor, one for hold, one for rough. And it looks like a misconduct of some sort here. We'll have to listen to the announcement as the snipers go to their first power play. There's a quick stick opportunity thwarted by Martin's head. That's the second one off the squash of Chase Martin as he's smiling. You can see him from up here. Goalies are crazy, I tell you. And that one off the head is the shockwave in transition here trying to kill the penalty, and that's Brooker Mirror. And that's exactly what the call is. Corey Becker with all three penalties on that one. He got two minutes for hold, two minutes for rough, and a 10 minute misconduct. So Corey Becker is gonna be in the box for a little bit. Shockwave up top, there's a shot, a goal! The goose egg is broken! Thanks to number 32, Blake Dunford. Dunford with the goal. And just like that, the St. Catherine Shockwave have a little bit of life into them now. One minute into the penalty kill, and Dunford buries it by sprints. And the shockwave finally on the board as they score the first goal of this period as the Six Nation snipers lead. Five to one now. 3.32 remain here in the second period. As Dunford... With the short-handed marker. If you're gonna score a goal to breathe your team some life, a short-handed one is a good one. Because with a five-nothing deficit and you got someone in the box for 12 minutes, no better way to breathe some life than a goal short-handed and that's exactly what Dunford did for his St. Catherine shockwave and now the snipers with the man advantage. There's a quick stick opportunity that goes just wide and back into the stick of Goddard. There's another shot opportunity handled easily by Martin. Martin directs traffic as he's trying to pass it up to Kilgore. Kyler Kilgore with it, bobbles it, picks it back up along the boards as he's watched by Ty Argent. Argent, Kilgore. And now Henry Chapman into the mix as we've got ourselves a little bit of a two on one action behind the sniper's goal. Loose ball picked up by the snipers as the snipers 
wholesale change here on offense. 2-10 remain in this second period as they lead the St. Catharines Shockwave 5-1 here. Snipers looking for their first goal of the period, scoring all five in the first. There's a shot from up top. That one off the stick of Whitlow, handled easily by Martin. And now the Shockwave in transition. Muir spins, turns, still has possession as he puts on the brakes behind the net and is looking for someone. There's a dump pass shot and a save by Sprints. That one off the stick of Cody Menzies. Fantastic save by Sprints. Sprints has been very sharp today. There's a pump shot and trip by Martin. As Jamie Downey tries to pump, doesn't fool Martin. Martin makes the save and then makes his presence known with a little bit of a, a chop to the, the foot of Downey. As Downey goes tumbling down and the St. Catharines shockwave now with the ball and we're gonna get a delayed penalty on the play. It looks like Kurt's gonna get a high stick as he was tangling up with a shockwave offensive player as Kurt still has words with that player. We're trying to figure out who that is if, as soon as he turns around. 54.8 remain here in the first half of things as the shockwave will go there's a roughing penalty to Cart. So with 14 or 54.8 remaining in the first or the second period, Cart in the box, and we're going to be playing five on four lacrosse. Or sorry, five on four lacrosse as Chase Martin goes to the bench with the extra attacker. 42 to go here. Brian Newfeld, he's up top, patiently waiting for the shot clock to expire here. Seven to go on the shot clock as Martin goes back to the bench. Five on five. The shockwave penalties expire as the snipers now in transition. Shot by Hill, saved by Martin. Vern Hill recovers the ball as he calls a timeout with 10.2 seconds remaining in this second period. As the Shockwave were very content on waiting for their penalty to expire, the two minute or the four minute penalty to expire with the goaltender pulled and then tried to get the shot off, couldn't get anything. And now the snipers with possession of the ball And we're back to action here after that timeout. 10.2 seconds to go here. Six Nations snipers with the ball and a 5-1 lead. Eight seconds, Ty Argent has it. He's attracted Van Zalm. Van Zalm with a nice defensive effort as he ties Ty Argent up. 1.2 to go here as the Shockwave have it. Shoot all the way down and just wide as the clock expires. And after two periods of play, we're at the half. And the St. Catharines Shockwave get back into it a little bit here with the only goal of the second period off the stick of Dunford. And the Six Nations snipers holding on to a 5-1 lead here in the Arena Lacrosse League action. For JVI Sports, I'm Daryl Smart. We will see you when the second half begins. Hello lacrosse friends and welcome back to Arena Lacrosse League action here from the beautiful Iroquois Lacrosse Arena and on Six Nations as the Six Nations snipers who are wearing their whites with orange and black trim have a five to one lead over the St. Catharines Shockwave wearing their gold with black trim. First half summary. It was all snipers in that first period, scoring five goals unanswered to take the five to nothing lead. And of course, Chase Martin, who was in net for that first half, shut things down. 
as Dunford scored the lone goal of the second quarter. And speaking of Chase Martin, we've got ourselves a goal. And there's an opportunity off the crossbar, diving in. As the snipers, there's a quick shot and a goal, Vern Hill. Vern Hill from Justin Martin. As the snipers start off quick, and just as I was going to say, speaking of Chase Martin, we have ourselves a goaltender's change in the second half. As that looks like Grant Crawley is now in net. And Grant Crawley's first shot of the game is a streaking Vern Hill, who makes no mistake and gives the Snipers a 6-1 to one lead here at the start of the second half. Snipers coming up, there's a dump pass. Opportunity to this shot. That one goes wide to Crawley. That one by Ethan Riggs as he heads to the bench in favor of an offensive player. Downey with that whip shot, that one goes wide of Crowley who's only faced that one shot by Vern Hill. As the snipers pick up the ball again. The St. Catharines fans not too happy with their players right now as there some cat calls coming from the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena. As there's an upended player Snipers player, and there's a shot from Dent Miller, and man down, Miller catches his rebound. As Blake Dunford, the goal scorer for the Shockwave is trying to shake that one off, Miller with the shot. That one looked like that hit Dunford right in the quad. Shockwave going one on one, they try to reset here as Shanahan dumps it across. Shockwave playing catch, shooting, scoring. And Cody Menzies with the shot and the goal. Makes it 6-2. to two. As the Shockwave cut the lead to four now. Snipers holding a 6-2 to two lead here with 12.40 remaining in the third quarter. Teams exchanging goals in this early part. Here's a shot and a goal! The goals keep on coming, this time it's Ethan Riggs. That five goal lead is back in favor of the Six Nations snipers, courtesy of Ethan Riggs. There's a shot from Atwood, Atwood wins the draw and darts all the way down and just goes wide. The carom goes off the boards and into the stick of the St. Catharines shockwave. Patterson tries to muscle his way through, or sorry, O'Brien tries to muscle his way through the Snipers' defense. Can't, there's a shot and a save by Crowley. Andy Jamison with the twister shot from up top. 12 minutes remaining here in the third quarter. 7-2 Snipers as the shockwave try to Regain possession, and they do. Centering pass, there's a shot from Shanahan. Shanahan's shot turned aside by Sprints, who has three defenders behind him, making sure that ball doesn't squeak by him. And Sprints, like we said at the top of the show, no wins this season. He's looking for his first W of the season between the pipes and has been rock solid for the Snipers tonight. There's a shot or a pass intended for Longboat and it goes all the way down the floor and into the corner to the right of Sprints. 11.30 remain here. Shockwave with possession of the ball. Full shot clock with them. They move the ball around the horn. That's pass intended for Shanahan again as Sprints grabs it. Bull full of confidence in him as he goes long distance with the pass. Whitlow with it, passes. Argent spins off and comes back on top with the pass. 
Sid Palace playing catch. Back to Palace. There's a quick shot from Chapman. Chapman gets his rebound as he looked to do something behind the net. Stutter steps, comes back up on top, hands it back to Whitlow. Whitlow to Palace, Palace out to Argent. Argent has it up top. Argent tries to dump it back to Palace, but no can do as Argent gets his head driven into the boards by Jordan Outby. Shot by Chapman goes well wide. Back into the possession. Downey with it. Fake shot pass. Dargent thinks about it. Spins back. There's a shot from Palace. That one goes up top. Just wide of Crowley. And Karam's all the way down to the other end and into the stick of Sprints who just shovels it aside as the shockwave now with it. Shockwave. They have possession. That's Patterson, number 12. He dumps it down. There's a shot. Scores! Lane Smith. Lane Smith, who is very familiar with this Iroquois lacrosse arena. 7-3, Snipers lead. Snipers very quiet so far. Especially in that second quarter. Snipers win the draw. 7-3 lead, 10 minutes to go here. Whitlow tries to play the hide the ball trick, but no can do on that one as they pass the ball around the horn. Downey sprints down the left side, tries to go towards the net, but the shockwave defense very tight on that one and just pushes him aside and creates the turnover. Muir. Playing catch, goes around the horn, shockwave with it. Lane Smith looks for another. And there's a shot and a save by Sprints. Shot saved by Crowley as the rebound picked up by a sprinting. Blay Arnold as he goes to the bench. Snipers, shot, rebound, picked up again by the Snipers. The Snipers doing a great job of picking up loose balls today. As they're working the ball around, Whitlow back to Paulus. Paulus off the smush. And Crowley takes that one off the cage. Possession back in favor of the Snipers. Paulus, he passes it down. Jamie Downey with it. Downey goes back into the corner, passes it off. Dump pass intended for Whitlow. That one intercepted as O'Brien has it now. O'Brien with the shot and a save as O'Brien knocked down by Alec Tomas. Tomas following through on the hit after the O'Brien shot. And it looks like Tomas is going to go to the penalty box, this time for cross-checking. And the shockwave will have the man advantage. There is a penalty, there is Corey Becker in the penalty box for the shockwave, but he's serving his 10 minute misconduct, which should be expiring soon. Shockwave on the man advantage. There's moving the ball around. They've got it, there's a shot and a goal. Anthony Patterson picks up the Lucy off the boards as the shockwave looked like they couldn't get anything together with the passing. Draw all the way down, picked up. They're still battling for it as Sprints picks up. There we go, That's still a loose ball all over the place. It looks like a demolition derby here. Bottie's crashing all over the place, loose ball everywhere. Snipers finally settle down, get possession of the ball. Sid Palace with the shot, that one goes off the shoulder of a St. Catharines defender. As they pick up the ball with seven and a half to go. O'Brien bumping heads, he tries to find a streaking Lane Smith. 
Lane Smith, who looks trimmed down from the summer. Lane Smith looking in great shape. As Longboat now has it, tries to impose as well. There's a shot stopped by Crowley. Loose ball, picked up again by the snipers. A lot of that happening this afternoon with the snipers picking up a large majority of these loose balls, especially, in, there's a wraparound opportunity in the air. Attempted by Henry Chapman. He's done that again a couple of times this afternoon, but no can do on that one as we have ourselves a media timeout with 7.02 remaining. And we're back to arena lacrosse league action after the media break as St. Catherine Shockwave, there's Lane Smith, tries to jump in. Yeah, Kurt draped all over him. As he streaks down, shoots and scores. Duncan, Kurt, coast to coast. Grant Crowley and the Six Nations snipers holding on to an eight to four lead now, increasing it. Battle along the boards near the penalty box recovered by the snipers. As they move the ball around. Argent. Dumps it off, underhanded. Palace, there's a quick shot. That one from McLaughlin. As they tried to work around the perimeter to make something happen, but no can do on that one. And the St. Catharines shockwave. Who have had a fantastic third quarter so far. Scoring three, but the sniper is able to reply every single time. Snipers down, there's a shot and a save by Crowley. Justin Martin with that opportunity as the shockwave come back down. Lane Smith, there's a shot from the corner and just wide and the ball caroms as Justin Martin's turn to go into transition. Martin to Goddard. Goddard's shot stopped by Crowley who creates a pick for his defender as they go into transition here and now it's the shockwave with the opportunity. Dumont dumps it back off to Shanahan. Shanahan out the lane. Lane Smith goes into the corner, passes it off. Back to Shanahan. Shanahan puts a shoulder into it. Spins, shoots, saved by sprints. Loose ball picked up. Vern Hill leads the attack here. Is Dent Miller now with it? He plays catch with Hill. Out to Palace. Palace to Miller. Miller shot turned aside by Crowley. Five minutes to go here in the third period. So there's a wraparound attempt again by Jamie Downey. The snipers for a third or fourth time trying that Superman wraparound attempt, but couldn't get anything going on it. Someone has a still camera, it would have looked like a great photo, but couldn't finish on that one. Loose ball into the corner, picked up by Hill. Four and a half to go here is Tomas, who he's got a pair tonight. Waits for his teammates to get onto the field. 420 remain here. Ty Argent on the right side, full complement of snipers, offensive players coming. Argent, Jukes, spins. Handled easily by the shockwave defender. Great defense. It looks like Blake Dunford on the defensive end. Shockwave with another man advantage here, this time with four minutes remaining in the third period. Snipers eight, shockwave four. Daryl Smart here along. The ride for Arena Lacrosse League action with JVI Sports. Thanks for joining us as we were just listening to the PA announcer here. Ty Argent with the penalty for a delay of game call. There's a shot from up top. That one off the stick of Patterson. Smith picks up the loose ball. As Sprints looks 
Long distance, he finds Vern Hill. Vern Hill, two on one opportunity. There's a shot and a save by Crowley. As he's turned aside. O'Brien dumps it back off. Out to Patterson, Patterson slowly waiting for his teammates to get assembled here with the man advantage. One minute remaining in the power play. Patterson dumps it, pass intended for O'Brien. He couldn't get a handle on it as the ball goes into the corner and the bodies go flying. As the loose ball still not picked up as the shot clock expires and the Six Nations snipers will now have the ball. Just under three minutes to go here in the third quarter, or in the third period. Snipers moving around the corner here, around the horn. 33 seconds remain in the penalty as they're killing off it. There's a quick shot from Downey. He whips again, and that one's swallowed up by the belly pad of Crowley and corralled and handled by the shockwave as they assemble for 15 seconds of power play action here. The shockwave moving the ball around the horn here. Lane Smith from up top. He tries to go down alone. Didn't fool sprints on that. One second remain and we're back to five on five action. And that last stoppage in play, Corey Becker was back onto the floor. So everybody's back onto the floor with two minutes to go here in the third period. Ball flies over top of the glass here as the snipers gain possession. Longboat plays catch with his teammates. That's Whitlow, spins around, tries to make something happen. Two defenders on him. Loose ball picked up by Goddard as Goddard rifles it and easily swallowed up by Crowley. Vanderzam, shot stopped by Sprints. As Vanderzam goes all the way coast to coast but couldn't connect. Loose ball. Picked up by Jamison. Jamison heading into the bench in transition and hands it off to Jamie Downey. Sid Palace, now Denton Miller. Miller sets up shop, spins off the defender. Miller looking, shooting. Easily handled by Crowley who looks to go long distance. 52 seconds remain here in the third period. Twenty seconds remain on the shot clock. Forty-two on the game clock. The shock wave, moving the ball around, trying to kill some clock as they try to get a shot off. Four seconds on the shot clock. That one goes wide. Nothing doing on that as the shot clock expires. Nothing doing, and the snipers, with twenty seconds remain. They have the shot clock in their favor. There goes Sprints for the extra attacker. 11 to go here. Longboat up top. Pass. Shot. Saved by Crowley. Great rebound control by Crowley off the stick of McLaughlin. 22 seconds left. There's a shot and a goal. Johnny on the spot. Tyler O'Brien with the shot from center of the floor with the empty net. And welcome back lacrosse friends to Arena Lacrosse League action here from the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Daryl Smart along for the ride with JVI Sports bringing you all the action here live and online. Thanks for joining us and after three periods of play the St. Catharines Shockwave making a go out of it after a disastrous first quarter where it was all snipers and a five to nothing lead and they've crawled all the way back. And now the Six Nations snipers holding on to an eight to five lead heading into the stretch here. There's a shot, that one goes wide. Rebound shot and a goal! No goal called is Ty Argent with a fantastic opportunity. Grabbed the rebound off the boards. 
seemed to score, but he had that foot in the net, and that's the second time that's happened as the Snipers again in transition looking to make something happen here. They had the numbers. Drop pass goes absolutely nowhere. And into the... Snipers holding on to the ball here. Vern Hill up top as he waits for a compliment of offensive players. Shot up top. That one's from Sid Palace, saved by Crowley. Crowley, he came in relief of Chase Martin. And Crowley played, started in the uh, third quarter. So both goalies playing a half. Snipers moving the ball around. There's Isaac, shot attempt. That one goes wide, caroms off the glass and all the way down. As it goes all the way down to Dylan Sprints who shovels it away as the, there's Lane Smith. He's looking for another streaking right in. And again, Lane Smith looking fit and trim, showing a lot of speed on that one. There's a shot saved by Crowley. Just under 13 to go here in the fourth period. Shot scores! Brian Newfeld with the goal. The shockwave pecking away slowly but surely. And again in that third quarter, O'Brien's goal late with right before the buzzer outscoring the snipers in that third quarter and now Newfield with the shot and goal and now it's 8-6 shockwave looking for more that goes wide as Vern Hill has it up top Vern Hill pumps opts not to do anything drops it back as he heads to the bench in favor of some offensive support. Miller, up top, looks to pass. Downey, with that whip shot, he dumps it down. That's pass intended for Whitlow. Nothing doing on that as Crowley dumps it back for his transition as the shockwave now with it. 11.40 remaining here in the final frame. Shockwave. Coming back into this one, there's a shot! Off the foot of Sprints. And again, the storyline on this one, Sprints. There's a shot by Lane Smith. That one handled by the shoulder of Sprints. As the snipers all alone and Crowley with a beautiful save. Both goaltenders with saves back to back here. But the storyline on this one, Sprint's looking for his first win of the Arena Lacrosse League season. 0-2 before the game started today, and he's been fantastic so far. As Longboat juggles the ball, picks it back up. Longboat, pass intended for Goddard. Nothing doing on that one. Shockwave pick things up, sauntering over the center of the floor as they get a full complement of offensive players. 10.40 remain here in the final frame. Defense buckling down for the snipers. The ball comes loose. As bodies fly everywhere, the snipers pick it up. That's Vern Hill. He's got it again as he plays catch, spins, shoots. That one just goes wide over the shoulder of Crowley. As our stats guy gives the field goal sign, that one going between the pipes, but not into the net. 10-27 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Arena Lacrosse League action. Daryl Smartle for JVI Sports. Thanks for joining us today on a beautiful, beautiful Sunday afternoon here from the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena as the Six Nation Snipers trying to make it four wins in a row. And again, another storyline, the Snipers 0-6 on the season before they went on that three-game uh, three run, hoping for more tonight. Shot by Miller. 
Blocked by a shockwave defender, picked it back up by Miller. Miller tries to go deep. There's a pass, shot. That one off the head of Crowley. Ball picked up by Becker. Becker heads to the bench in favor of a full offensive set for the shockwave as Kilgore has it. Kilgore passes it off. Kilgore goes to the bench again. The shockwave with a full offensive set now with 9.30 remaining in the fourth quarter. There's a shot from up top. Pump shot saved by Sprints. Sprints has been solid tonight, showing tons of confidence. Justin Martin, he's got the ball, tried with the hidden ball trick as there's a pump. I always get fooled on that, but that time the eyes were working. Nine minutes to go here. Snipers working around the horn, ball behind the net. Fake pass, long boat shot stopped as Crowley stuffs the net and nothing gets by him on that one. Errant pass by Crowley as he tries to go long distance, couldn't find anything as the snipers recover and head into the offensive end. Longboat shot scores! Brand Longboat with the shot and he skipped that one through the wickets of Crowley. As Brent Longboat scores the ninth goal of the night for the snipers as they increase their lead over the shockwave here. And of course, prior to the game, the shockwave four and five on the season, fourth in arena lacrosse league action, while the snipers three and six, there's a dive and tap, he scores! What an individual effort! Boy, oh boy, there's a highlight reel goal. That one by Kyle Isaacs. And number 10 on the night by the Snipers is a beauty. Kyle Isaacs stops, turns around, and heads to the net and tries to impose his will and goes way up top into the air and slips it past Crowley. And the Snipers now with a 10 to 6 lead, just when you thought they were all the momentum was the shockwave's way. And that's been a theme all game long. As the snipers seem to have a response every time the shockwaves score. There's a shot, scores! Blake Dunford, he's got two tonight. And the Six Nations Snipers lead now 10 to seven with 7.52 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Draw, one by Atwood as he sprints to the bench. Ty Argent now with it. He's waiting for the full complement of offensive players. Argent dumps it off to Downey. Downey to Whitlow, Whitlow. He finds a streaking Brent Longboat looking for two straight. And Slides into second base, head first. Centering pass, that one goes wide. Picked up by Corey Becker, Becker with it. Becker all alone, looking for one. There's a shot, handled by Sprints. And boy, oh boy, Sprints has been fantastic. All game long. Whitlow spins away from a St. Catharines defender, opts to dump out to Isaacs, Isaacs, spinning, passing. They go around the horn, shot goes wide. As, there's another shot and the shooting gallery continues, but nothing hits the net as the loose ball picked up by Dunford. Shot clock expires. Dunford, Johnny on the spot, looking to make something happen, curls back into the corner. Shock wave. Moving the ball around. There's a shot saved by Sprints. Loose ball. That one knocked loose and now into the stick of the snipers. Martin with it. He finds a streaking Fern Hill. 
Vern Hill stopped. Corey Becker with it. Becker, long distance pass to Smith. Smith shoots and he scores. Lane Smith with his second of the night. And Shockwave's eighth of the game as the Six Nations snipers now lead 10-8 over the Shockwave. Atwood all over his man as he loses the draw. Shockwave get the, and then picked up the errant pass, but again, the ball bouncing everywhere. Picked up by Whitlow. Just under six minutes to go here. Whitlow pops the ball up. Pretty haphazard pass. Creates a turnover as O'Brien now with it. O'Brien turns back, passes it to Mira. Mira to Becker. Becker goes across the floor. There's a shot from Patterson that easily swallowed up by Sprints. Shockwave with the ball again. A little bit of momentum heading their way. Curling off, there's a shot. That one turned aside by Sprints off the stick of Vanderzom. Isaac Vanderzom with a nice individual effort turned aside as the Shockwave retool here offensively. Lane Smith dives in, shoots, and he's got the hat trick. Lane Smith with the hat trick. But slowly and surely, the Six Nation or the St. Catharines Shockway have inched themselves closer and closer. And Lane Smith with two straight goals. And now the hat trick. We've got ourselves a finish here, folks. Thanks for joining us on JBI Sports. Daryl Smart here on the microphone bringing you the action today. Thanks for joining us. Snipers working the ball around. Downey with it, up top the left side. Goes up the middle, there's a shot. That one knocked by, down by the defender as Crowley corrals it and tries to pass it off, but the ball comes loose. Muir, he's got the ball. Dumps it into the corner to one of his teammates as both teams passing the ball rather gingerly. Newfeld pass to Shanahan. Shanahan's shot goes wide. Ball comes way loose, and Kyle Isaacs now with it. Isaacs spins off the defender and head first into the boards thanks to a check by Corey Becker. O'Brien spins off. Back to Becker. Out to Newfeld. Newfeld. He passes it off. There's the shot by Patterson. Save. Another save by Sprints. There's another save by Sprints. Three in a row. Finally off the stick, Elaine Smith. Sprints having to make three saves in a row. As we've got ourselves a stoppage in play, the media timeout with 3.18 to go in the fourth quarter. And the Six Nations snipers holding on to a 10-9 lead. Thanks for joining us. And welcome back, lacrosse friends, to Arena Lacrosse League action after that media timeout. 3.16 to go here in the fourth quarter as Wes Whitlow has a defender draped all over him as the shockwave are pressuring now. Showing a little pressure on defense as they've inched back into this one. There's a shot from a long distance from Longboat. Loose ball picked up. Longboat again. Shot saved by Crowley. The Snipers have a three-game winning streak on the line here as there's another loose ball picked up by the Snipers, this time by Alec Tomas. Tomas, he's got a pair tonight. Isaacs on the right side, trying to make something happen. There's a pass down low. 
Oh, there's a shot between the legs. Oh my goodness, Jamie Downey. If he connected for that one, that one would be all over the social medias. Downey, left side shot. He finds the leg pad of Crowley as the rebound swallowed up by the shockwave as they go into transition. Dumont smartly pick, holds onto the ball, waits for a reset here. Just under two minutes to go here. We've got ourselves a one goal lead. Snipers holding on to the 10 9 lead over the St. Catherine shockwave. Pass intended for someone down low, but nobody got it. As there's nobody home on that centering pass. As Ethan Riggs now has it. Riggs holds on with a minute and a half to go here. Riggs going to be very happy to hold on to the ball. 17 seconds left on the shot clock as he dumps it off to Alec Tomas. Tomas out to Danton Miller. Miller to Longboat. Longboat on the right side. Big shot scores! Are you kidding me, Brent Longboat? From long distance. My oh my. I think everybody in the building knew that Longboat was going to rifle that one because for some reason every time he's out top, he likes to shoot it from out there. And that one went top cheddar on, on Crowley. And now the Six Nations snipers holding on to a two goal lead with one minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Snipers holding on to the ball, working the ball around the perimeter. Nine seconds to go on the shot clock. There's a shot by Martin handled by Crowley as Becker gets it. Becker into transition here for the shockwave. 43 to go here in the regulation time. Crowley sprinting to the bench in favor of the extra man. Six on five here. There's a shot from up top and sprints. Blocks the shot with the shoulder. 30 to go. Long distance pass. Vern Hill's got it. Vern Hill sprinting Crowley. Vern Hill puts this one on ice. The Six Nations snipers with a 12 to 9 lead over the St. Catharines shockwave here at the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena. 20 seconds to go here. There's a shot. That one off the stick of Muir goes well wide and the ball comes loose and back into the possession of the shockwave. Eight seconds to go here is another wasted shot picked up by Atwood. And just like that, the Six Nations snipers who started the season at 0-6 are now 4-6 on the season. Well, the St. Catherine Shockwave dropped to four and six on the season. For Daryl Smart and JVI Sports, thank you for joining us for Arena Lacrosse League action as the Six Nations Snipers come away with a 12 to nine win over the St. Catherine Shockwave. Thank you for joining us.